Anyway, enough about quantum physics in the Emoji Movie. Let's uh, move on to our next topic. So, um, hold on, let me uh, introduce, because we got like three new listeners here. Um, if you're just tuning in, welcome to Regular Guys Reviews. We are just two college kids talking about our favorite movies. I'm Matthew. I'm Rodney. And uh, let's get started into our next topic. Um, let me look at my notes here. Ooh, new Star Wars movie coming out in May. God, they just keep pumping out these Star Wars movies like McDonald's. I'm getting sick and tired of it, man. What do you mean? I'm loving it so far. I'm so hyped for Solo next month. A Han Solo movie? Please, tell me. No one has ever wanted that. Why can't Disney just let Star Wars be? Look, man, I was hesitant too. I'll admit that. But the trailer looks great. Tons of new characters. And honestly, it looks pretty different. Not following the same formula. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fan, but I don't think they'll be bringing anything new. That's very wrong, kiddo. Look. Rogue One is a perfect example of how Disney can make these movies great. Eh, I don't know, man. Bro, come on, dude. When it came out, I was so excited. I waited in line and I had a huge popcorn in one hand, soda in the other, and it was just a time of my life. Plus, I saw it like two other times in theaters after that. I'm sorry, my dude, but not even food would make me see it again. What do you mean? I had all the elements of a Star Wars movie, but... It also has so much more content to make it new and lead perfectly into the original trilogy. All it had was lasers and easter eggs. So what? That's what we love. Plus, those characters were so unique and funny. K2SO was a blast. He was so sarcastic and it made the movie a little bit lighter, mixing in with its dark tone. Hmm, yes, dark tone. That was kind of weird though, you know, the darkness of the movie. It, It makes it stand out a little bit more compared to the others. Like. Look, man, it it showed how the Rebels were not perfect heroes, showing their dark side. But aren't they supposed to be good? Dude, come on, it's called depth? You wouldn't know. Like, Cassian, he would do anything for the Rebels. He was almost like an anti-hero, which was a pretty fresh take for the film. Han was an anti-hero. Yeah, but he didn't do the dark things as Cassian. He killed an informant to get away, even though that informant gave him important plans about the Death Star. It showed how drastic they would go, the Rebels, to win this war. I guess they had some cool people. Some? Dude, the main cast was filled with diverse, interesting characters. Look at um Donnie Yen's character, a blind man who used the Force to dodge his lasers. How badass was that? <laughs> a little. Dude, now let's look at Jin, the hero of the story. She was great. She wasn't special with the Force or anything, but still kicked ass. Shows the audience that not all the main heroes in Star Wars are Jedi. It's something new. I guess, but wasn't the movie just a way to fill in the Death Star plot hole? So what? It doesn't really matter since the plot was amazing. It was like a war movie mixed with the Star Wars charm. The final battle on Scarif was so much fun to watch. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. Okay, I admit, I'm a sucker for space battles and all. And I was, I was just near the top of my favorite, okay? Look, I guess it was alright, but I had to say the... Not as good as the prequels. Oh no. Please don't tell me you're a. Yes, yes, I am. I'm a Jar Jar fan. Best character ever seen in the Star Wars. Oh my lord. Let me guess too. You think the CGI was good? Well, obviously. Change my mind. Dude, this hurts my heart. Make, I bet you're a Minions fan too. Bro, the prequels, lo- prequels looked like trash. Rogue One was amazing with all their tech. It had a good mix of CGI with practical effects. Mm-hmm. Plus, you know those mm-hmm. CGI characters of the actors who either passed away or were too yeah. old? Yeah. They looked so real. Yes, they did. But they weren't. Are you telling me they weren't real? <laughs> yeah, dude. See, look. This movie has everything. I guess you're getting somewhere with this. I guess. Dude, look. All I am saying is that Disney can put out new Star Wars movie that bring new stuff to the table, and Rogue One is the perfect example of that.